So when you change wheels and tires on vehicles, maybe you go to a larger wheel size, larger tire diameter, you can change a lot of things on the vehicle. The speedometer might be off now, and maybe the tire pressure monitoring thresholds could be a little different on different tires. So there's a couple settings you can actually change with the scan tool inside a lot of newer Chrysler vehicles. So let's walk through it on this Jeep right now. All right, the tool is hooked up to the vehicle. So let's just turn it on. Ignition's on on the vehicle as well. And go through the tool is going to ID the vehicle for us. That little beep tells us they're done. Click on scanner. There's our vehicle. This is going to be inside the body control module. And that is actually under miscellaneous functions is the first things where you can program tire size. It says it's used to update the circumference value stored in the BCM after changing the size of the tires on the vehicle. So it's going to go see what it has already equipped. It says it's got uh, two 65 50R20s. So maybe I want to change them down to 18 inch wheels. So we'll click on this, the Michelin All Seasons here. Okay, programming the tire size was successful. It also says you need to run some initialization tests if the vehicle is equipped, which this one is not equipped with that particular system. So we can just go through there and exit. Okay, so that's all done. Now I gotta go back one menu and go into system tests. And now I need to update my pressure thresholds because maybe the tire pressure monitoring system might have a, a different set level. And if I change the pressure in the tires, well, maybe I might set a code. So we can go through here and we can just hit continue. The first thing it's gonna tell us is what's already programmed into the vehicle. All right, so now we have it set to 36 pounds. So that means the tire pressure light will come on when the vehicle tire pressure gets below 36 pounds. So let's go through here and maybe, uh, maybe the tire wants to see a higher pressure. Maybe we wanna set it to 40 pounds minimum. So we'll set it up there for the front. Same thing with the rear, set it to 40 PSI there. It's gonna write the values in the computer. And it says we're successful, hit continue. It's gonna show you what the current values are. And there they are set to 40 pounds. So a couple little steps, didn't take too long. And now we can roll with the new tires and have everything working correctly.